How are you? How are you all doing today? This is Sunday in the Park, and I am your host, Adrienne Michelle. What's up, people? And I just want to let you know that we are here live. We'll give you a little bit of a chance to kind of get in because we have a very special guest today with us, and we've been so excited to have um, this amazing person here with us. But before we do, I'm going to get into um, a little bit about um, what's going on in our community. So let's get it. Um, this is um, our way of celebrating our community. And so this um, month, this week, um, we are celebrating um, two um, main uh, um, awarenesses and histories um, for our community. And so first we're celebrating Pride Month and we're celebrating also Juneteenth this month. And so Pride Month is the LGBTQ Pride Month um, uh, is from the LGBTQ community. And it's commemorated each year in the month of June. And a little bit about Pride Month, it marks uh, the 53 years since the Stonewall in protest in New York City. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, it would be a great time to just research what, was, what happened in the Stonewall protest in New York City. Um, but this is when the patrons and supporters resisted harassment that had become all too common for members of the LGBTQIA community. And those events um, happened in June of 1969. And that generally uh, sparked the catalyst for the LGBTQIA rights movement. And uh, we know we have a very diverse um, LGBTQIA community um, all over our country, especially within our counties um, in our Southern Maryland area. And Pride Month just reminds us of the importance of continuing to ensure that we create uh, and sustain safe spaces um, that are free of um, hate speech, and violence, hate um, in our community. So love is love. And I do want to shout out P Flag Leonard Town. Uh, and I will provide P Flag Leonard Town's um, information in our comments and at the end of our broadcast. Uh, but you can reach them at www.pflagleonardtown.org uh, for more information about um, them, um, their organization, and then events in the area. Um, before I get into um, the events, our Juneteenth and all the other events that are going on, I do want to just say, um, you know, I don't know if you've heard this term, you know, it's better to stay ready than to get ready. Um, and so a lot is going on in our environment at this point. Um, all the time we're having to deal with um, making sure that we are advocating for the rights of, um, you know, all of our citizens and making sure that we are contributing to our community in the way that we should be um, and paying attention to what's going on in our community. So one, um, something I wanna lift up that maybe most of you do not know is that we have something called a comprehensive plan. And this comprehensive plan, and I am gonna drop the, um, the plan um, in, the chat or probably in uh, the information that I sent afterwards. It's like um, a plan that guides um, the processes of the work and lays out um, the initiatives and programs um, for our county government and entities within our county government to follow within the, for the next 10 years. So um, the plan, the last time the plan was updated was 2010. Um, and right now, um, um, there is a plan in place to kind of um, make sure that we um, get all of our information and data um, from the community to make sure that we make um, 
new visions for the plan uh, and a comprehensive plan that we can follow for the next 10 years. And so there's processes in place right now for that. I just want you to be aware of it. I am going to drop the information. Um, the plan is pretty long. I, I know you're probably not going to read all of it, but I do want to dedicate this time to giving you um, something that you may not be aware of. If you are aware of it, that's great. Um, just be aware of what the plan has in it for our community, for our county. And I'm speaking of our, I am speaking of St. Mary's County. Um, however, there are um, plans in place um, for the Southern Maryland area, all the Southern Maryland adjoining counties, Calvert County and Charles County. So please just be aware of what your plan entails um, and how um, the visions are laid out and, um, you know, what's how what we're doing in our community, what we can do in our community help, to help align with that plan. Um, next, I wanted to talk about um, just a few sites that would be really great to bookmark either on your computer or in, uh, you know, if you're having, if you have social media on your Facebook page or, you know, Instagram page, just to be aware of. And I say this, um, and I'm speaking for the Southern Maryland area um, as well. So um, there are sites for these particular uh, suggested um, pieces of information or places or um, organizations or entities um, that you should visit and make sure you bookmark and get to know what's going on uh, with those particular organizations. And so um, Southern Maryland wise, we all have um, a county government page. St. Mary's County government has its own uh, government page. And, and that page it has all of the particular um, departments and organizations um, and information uh, for the whole county. So if you're new to the county, that's a great place to go. Um, in a minute, I'll probably try to pull it up here um, so that you can at least see that front page. Um, but that is a great place to go um, to get more information about the county and what's going on in the county. Uh, and let me see really quick. I'll go ahead and try to pull it up because you guys know if you guys have been watching I am going to try to pull up as much as I can but sometimes uh, there we go here it is okay so this is our county government page and I know probably some of you are like I already know how to get here um Adrian so why are you showing me this but um there are others in the community that may not know where the page is. So this is a really great comprehensive page. It has all of um, the residential um, information, organizations, how to get involved, everything you, you would want to know from. Um, and, all, and some of the other pages that I'm going to recommend are actually on this front page. They are all connected and all aligned. Um, business, all the public agencies, where you can go for recreation, visits. How can you do certain things? How can you contact people? And then board docs, which is really important because anytime there are any meetings or um, they, um, they are public meetings and um, they'll either stream them on a YouTube page and St. Mary's County um, government does have a YouTube page uh, with many of their commissions uh, that have um, uh, YouTube um they YouTube their, I'm sorry, their meetings. Uh, but then Board Docs is the place where you can go in and get um, information specifically about those meetings. And so if you want to stay up to date as to what's going on um, at particular meetings, um, what type of information is, is given out to those particular commission members, then you go to Board Docs um, and it loads right up. It looks like this, but it's taken a long time to load up. But you get the idea. Um, that this is the place um, you go. And so within this particular area, and there have um, Charles County and Calvert County also have a, um, a uh, government page as well with all information that connects to um, all various entities, as I said, um, and agencies. So let's see here. Um, so on that page, um, you can reach the St. Mary's County Public Schools. On that page, you can reach the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. You can reach the County Library, the Health Department, uh, Parks and Recs. Um, so all of those particular organizations and many more, you can click in to get their, e uh, sorry, their website addresses, their social media addresses, and 
bookmark it, um, get to know what's going on a little more. Um, and that's just for, um, you know, anybody who's interested or anybody who just needs a reminder um, to make sure that we're um, just doing all we can to get all the information we need to get. All right. Um, next, so I did talk about um, the celebrations that we're having this month and the other celebration that we are having this month is um, really big this year because it's the uh, June C Juneteenth celebration. It's a it's this year. The reason why I say it's really big this year is because this year marks the first federal holiday uh, in the United States, um, commemorating the emancipation of enslaved Africans. And so, if you're not familiar with Juneteenth and Juneteenth's history, on June 19th in 1865, this was probably more than two or more years um, after. President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, enslaved Americans in Galveston, Texas, finally received the word that they were free from bondage. And, and over those two years, um, word was um, given to uh, many of the states or the, the, the towns. Uh, and little by little, you know, enslaved Americans found out, slaves found out that they were free. But Galveston, Texas was one of the final places uh, that received the word and they received it in, 19, uh, in 1865. So as those who were formerly enslaved were recognized um, for the first time as citizens, um, they came to commemorate Juneteenth. It's a combination of um, June 19th. And the celebrations um, were across the country. Um, they were traditions that honored the day. Uh, and over time, over um, many decades, um, that tradition was very strong. Uh, and it found its way to several um, other states activities, county activities. And so we mark the first federal holiday of Juneteenth, June 19th. So many of our, um, our federal businesses, um, you know, on June 20th will be the first, um, that Monday, um, we'll mark that national holiday. So really excited about that. Uh, so what are we doing in Southern Maryland. What are we doing? There's so many activities going on in Southern Maryland for Juneteenth. If you wanna celebrate, um, I do have some um, that are listed in each of the counties. Um, I know that there is a public open house for Juneteenth weekend at the Drayden African-American Schoolhouse. And this is offered by uh, the Department of Parks and Recreation uh, and the Museums Division, and also the United Committee for Afro-American Contributions, UCAC. They'll be providing uh, this opportunity starting Saturday, June 18th, Sunday, June 19th, Monday, June 20th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. each of those days. And this is for the community to be able to learn more about the important piece of um, the county's um, African-American history. Um, and so that's for St. Mary's County. I know there are several um, in the region that are going on. Um, there are actually June 16th celebrations going on on Saturday, June 18th in all three counties. So in St. Mary's County, there's a Juneteenth African-American Heritage Festival that's uh, given by the Unified Committee of Afro-American Contributions. Um, it's going to be at Lexington Manor Passive Park at 12 p.m. In Calvert County, there's a Juneteenth community celebration by the NAACP there at Jefferson Patterson Park, and that also starts at 12 p.m. And then in Charles County, uh, there's a Juneteenth festival um, given by the Charles County Juneteenth Committee, and that's going to be at the shops at Waldorf at 12 p.m. So 
Um, again, you can definitely go on and um, research other activities and events. I know if I said them all, I'd, we'd be here all day, literally. And that's a good thing because we want to celebrate Juneteenth because uh, it's really important. But I did just cap the highlights for each of the counties in our Southern Maryland area. And so please um, go out and um, support Juneteenth. Um, that weekend. And so I do have my June 19th shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I know you guys can't see it, but but I do have my J19 shirt um, ready to go. Um, but I also know that Dia Barnes from DMB Creations also has J, not, J, not, maybe not J, Juneteenth t-shirts as well and memorabilia. Um, so I'm shouting um, her out and her business. Um, so I will put her information in the chat. Um, as well, or in my communications afterwards. So that if you're interested in getting a t-shirt, you can head her way. Finally, um, elections are coming up. And the primary election day is July 19th. And the primary elections, um, the actual registration deadline. So if you have not registered for your um, to vote, for primary elections, you need to register by June 28th, 5 p.m., 11.59. You know how they are. It's like, that's it. So you need to make sure, mark your calendar, 5 p.m., 11.59. Um, but you need to make sure that you are registered. Uh, we want to make sure that your presence is heard, make sure that your vote counts. Um, again, there's so much going on. Um, in our community, um, please exercise uh, your um, right to vote. And I'm gonna pop up the from the, um, uh, let's see here, there we are. I've got the uh, flyer uh, for the gubernatorial election information from the Board of Elections. And that information I will give to you as well. Um, but that, let me make it a little bit larger here. So you can see it. I hope you can see it. Um, this information just highlights what I said. Of course, it also goes and it gives you information about the general election as well. But um, focusing on the primary, which is July 18th, you want to make sure that you are registered to vote, vote by June 28th. And early voting starts July 7th to July 14th. So you want to make sure um, that you exercise your right to early vote um, before the 18th. You can also vote on the 18th, of course. We in St. Mary's County will have 11 ballot box locations. And so this uh, PDF highlights all of the box locations. There'll be one in Hollywood Firehouse. There'll be now one. There are two new ones. Um, there'll be a, um, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Let me go back to the, let me go back to these boxes and then I'll tell you about the new um, sites for early voting. So all of these boxes, I'm not going to read them all out, but there are 11 of them throughout the county um, that you can um, utilize to vote. And then I'm, if I go back up to the early voting, which I did not mention, early voting will be at Hollywood Firehouse. And there are two new locations this year, um, Bay District Firehouse um, in Lexington Park. And Mechanicsville Firehouse, of course, in Mechanicsville, these are two new early voting spots. So a lot is being done to make sure, especially by our, our county, um, to make sure that you get out the vote. Okay. And our shout out. So ce celebrating our community, there's so much that's going on. Um, I believe it was yesterday we had a community cleanup. Um, this was sponsored by, well, more, it was sponsored by several organizations. Um, I'll see if I can put some pictures or something out. Um, but I do want to shout out uh, St. Mary's County Community Development Corporation, Executive Director Taylor Smith, um, and um, that did um, the planning, the organizing um, to get this started. I heard it was a, a huge success. Um, so again, all those people who came out, all the sponsors for that event, um, thank you so much. It was amazing. And then we have the community baby shower, and that was by the St. Mary's Healthy Partnerships. And um, that was an amazing event, att well attended as, as well. And one more shout out. I want to shout out OG Hustle, um, Dreamer 365 um, Network. He is 
um, and his um, team. They are, they have a black business um, television show, or not television, show, I'm sorry, streaming show. We don't do television shows anymore, do we? I'm sorry. But we has a, he has a black business streaming show uh, focusing in on hometown heroes. And so, uh, again, celebrating our community. I give a shout out to OG Hustle. Um, keep on, keep the hustle going. Keep the team going. Um, we need people like you. We need several people um, to join in, making sure that we celebrate our community because that really is what it's all about. Um, and speaking of celebrating our community, one more person I would like to celebrate is Sandra Scott. She is a photographer um, extraordinaire of everything, everyone, but she has Soul Scott uh, Photography. And if you've never been on her page, you need to go to her page because she has um, captured the heart of the community in so many different ways. And so I give her a shout out as well. And so now I feel like I should be doing a drum roll. Oop. Um, I am going to bring on our special guest. Try to do my drum roll. <laughs> our special guest. And she is in the building, so to speak, in the streaming building. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am in the building. <laughs> hey, how, how are you? Are you? Today? Oh, good. I'm good today. Hey, how are you? Great. I'm doing well. Good. Dorsey uh, Swales. Uh, Jay. Get it right here. JD Enterprises. Yes, JD Swells Enterprises. You got it. Right. You got it. And you, you got, got some, you got fans, you got, got fans, you got so many people who are. Yeah, I had yeah. to tell my family, you know, hop on at five o'clock. Absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna be on here. Y'all gonna support today. So everybody is excited. Like I said, I told you we were giggling about it earlier this week about how everybody thought it was last week and they were tuning in saying, hey, please, I thought you were supposed to be live, but we don't see you. What's going on? So I was like, y'all, it's the 12. You know, tune back in. Had that same energy y'all had this week. Next yes. week. Well, that's yeah. what I get. That's what I get for um trying to do it earlier, you know, earlier than I used to. Yes. But that's okay. We're gonna keep it yeah. early, you know. Yeah. Like gonna rock be, that's right. Like they said, they, they said to be what did they say? To be late. Wait, what's what says to be just to be early is to be on time. On time and, and to be on time is to be late. Time to be late. <laughs> so I was trying to be on time. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. One more time, honey. Yeah. So yes. I um have just I'm gonna be I'm gonna say this to you. Okay. I don't think you knew this. I have really <laughs> admired you for a very long time. Oh see, and don't don't start the tears. Come on, I'm don't do make you cry. Okay, don't. never mind. But I have admired you. I don't want to make you cry. <laughs> and the reason is that I've in, in starting off I just with, with your business story by nature and all the things that you're doing in the business. I don't yeah. want to start ahead of you know us having a conversation. I just want to say um just yeah. thank you for what you do for our community. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. You know, sometimes when you're doing stuff, you really don't know if you're really being effective or you're making a difference. So it's it's absolutely I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I, I truly appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, one of your people was saying that we have feedback. You know what? It might be me. So I'm going to do this. I don't have to do this. It might be your earpiece. It might be my earpiece. So let me see. I still hear it. Okay. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll have the interview and then I'll meet myself as you're talking. I'll try to make sure we cut back with some of that feedback. But thank you, Marsha. I appreciate it. Thank you, Marsha. <laughs> All right. Um, so I just want to get started with um yes. we know you are um a founder. Mm -hmm. I said several different businesses, but yes. to all of those. I want to just ask who you are. Now I know you're Jessica, okay? Right. But, you know, who are you mm -hmm. and how did your chapter begin in St. Mary's County? So it could be anywhere from being don't, a make you stay, don't make me stay here all day. <laughs> right. <laughs> just want to know a little bit about you. So I am Jessica Swells. For those who don't know, I am actually born 
This is this is my stomping grounds. I am born and raised. I've been born and raised in St. Mary's County all of my life. Um, my family is deeply rooted in St. Mary's County. Um, as you can see, um, my last name is Dorsey. A lot of people are familiar with the Dorseys. And my dad's side of the family is the Jordans. And we also run deep. So I am born and raised. Um, I am a wife. I am a mother. Um, like I said, been here all my life. I love to travel. I love music. I love fashion. I love beauty. Anything that has to do with the beauty industry, um, I'm for it. So that's just a little bit about me. Uh, my youngest son, the one that I actually birthed, he'll be two in um, two weeks. So I have five children for a bonus. Um, we a big family over here. We a family of seven. <laughs> Um, so that's just a little bit about me outside of my businesses. Um, I am the CEO of um, JD Swells Enterprises. I am the also the founder of JD, um, JD Swells Enterprises, and I'm also the CEO of Glory by Nature Hair Care Services. That's how most people know me because of my salon. You know, we doing the thing over here. But I have been transitioning, um, been doing a lot of transitioning and involving, like just finding out who I am, um, just to get to the root of who I am so I can get clear about what mm -hmm. I've been purposed to do in this lifetime as we start to evolve and grow. And I really empower women to achieve their success, their means of success by um, prioritizing a purpose-filled life and by discovering their inner beauty. So that is what I am evolving into. Um, like I was telling you earlier, you know, my website says that I am a hard, hybrid entrepreneur. Um, mm -hmm. I worked in corporate for mostly all of my life. I started working with a government contractor when I was the ripe age of 22. Um, so I transitioned into full-time entrepreneurship um, in, at the end of 2019. So I've been a full-time entrepreneur since the end of 2000, November, 2019. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 The next year. Um, like I tell the story all the time. I put in my two weeks because I felt like God was pushing me out of my job because you know how we get comfortable and complacent. You know, yes. there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on and we always say, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm getting out of here. But as soon as it <laughs> yeah. comes, you know what we do. Right. So um, God just kept allowing things to happen that year. And in the midst of me putting in my two weeks, I found out that I was pregnant. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to stay God. Like I, I need my benefits. I need these good, good benefits. I'm going to just stay here and we just going to hash it out, you know. But he was like, no, you, st you need to go. Go. You need to go because I have for you. Right. So, yeah, that's a, a little bit about me. Um, born and raised, like I said. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. You said, oh, I think somebody has said, if you're, I think you might be, if your audio on your cell phone, I think it might be a cell phone issue. Did it? Okay. I don't know, but, it's, but we'll, huh. we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm on the cell phone, but I'm not for sure. If I turn down my volume, I won't be able to hear you. Okay. So, but you know what? I don't, I don't hear the, I hear it a little bit now, but that's okay. okay. Just not as much as I did before. But, but it's interesting because you said, I, I started thinking about how in the world did you get um, the motivation mm -hmm. to do what you do. And what I mean by that is, was there a particular person or time mm -hmm. that inspired you to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going yes. to you know, take, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to do it. Yes. So, um, after being saved, you know, getting saved, finding out, you know, um, that there was more purpose in my life. Mm. I kept asking God like, okay, you know, I see everybody around me, even if they're running a corporate business or they're, they're, um, going up the scale in their corporate business, you know, they're doing things that they enjoy. Right. So mm -hmm. when I was in high school, you know, even when I was a kid, you know, um, just starting off on my first business, my hair salon, um, you know, I was just like, okay, well, I always liked hair as a kid, but you know, when you get to high school, you know, I was in the era where, you know, the internet just came out, you know, we was AOL on AOL and dial up, you know, we were so <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, right? So I was just like, okay, you know, being an FBLA and all of that good stuff, you know, I was like, okay, well, I want to be the woman that carries a beat um, briefcase. I want to be a boss. Never knew what I wanted to be a boss of. All I knew is I wanted to wear the fly suits and carry a suitcase and be a boss. And you know, and and 
delegate tasks. So I'm just like, okay, mm-hmm. because every time and I figured out this, I was like, you know what, God? You had to have entrepreneurship written all over me because I have a hard time with people telling me what to do because I feel like I'm the boss, right? (laughs) So um, just working in corporate America and doing um, a lot of governmental contracts, you know, it was, it was, it was paying the bills. You know how it is when when we don't call it really a career as a job, you know, because it's not something you find passion in. So like I said, going back to me, um, you know, uh, finding my, you know, who God about who God is and who I am. I was like, okay, God, what am I supposed to be doing? And it was so crazy that the week that I was like, okay, God, now I see these people are selling, these people are talking about how they're half a year in career and they're growing. And, you know, you see some people that you go to high school with and whatever they picked out for their plan of career, they stuck to it and uh, excel, right? So I'm just like, what, what is it that you have for me to do? Like, I, there has to be something that whole week. I had people every day coming to me and was like, why didn't you ever go to cosmetology school? Do you remember when you used to do our hair? Mm-hmm. Everybody's hair um, back in the day. Do you remember when you used to do our hair? And then my mom was like, um, you know what? Why why you didn't ever go to cosmetology? I was like, okay, God, like all week. Wow. All week. I was like, okay, God, like, so am I supposed to be doing this? She was like, you were just so in the hair. Like she was reminding me of stuff that I forgot about, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, this has to be you because I've been shouting at you for a long time about what is it that I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> so that's how I um got back to figuring out what I wanted to do. And it was tied deeply with the roots of who I was because Mm. I was once a person, oh my goodness. I was once a person that felt like, you know, as a kid, you know, I was the, um, the girl on the, you know, um, in comparison to my cousin, you know, she was like a 50, 50 Puerto Rican, long flowy hair, this beautiful, right. This beautiful toned skin. I was the one with the acne and the tightly curled hair. So at one point, you know, um, just like having, always having her by my side. Cause we grew up like sisters and then my peers, like I always just looked at them versus myself. You know mm. what I mean? And I, I just couldn't see the beauty in myself. Right. I always would like cry. I like my kid go to hit, uh, school today because my hair, I just, I, it, just everything, even like the negative connotations that's around African-American hair. Like I, I adapted it. Like my hair is nappy. It's ugly. D- nothing mm. good. Come from, right. So, um, with me, um, I, I was doing braids and weave, you know, once you get old enough to do your own thing, braids and weave and covering it. And I felt like, um, you know, my hair was a part of a big part of my identity. So mm-hmm. in that, you know, if I could, you know, if I could put on a bomb, a, a weave, a quick sew in or get some long braids down my back because I felt like my hair would only grow a certain length before it would start breaking off. Right. Um, I just felt like, you know, it, it made me feel like I was a different person, but it wasn't me. So when I tried to do the natural thing again, you know, I was faced with all of those, you could say word curses, the natural, con- you know, those negative connotations again, like, when are you going to do your hair? You know, we used to hear that when we was little, uh, you need a, str- Ooh, you need to put a straightening comb on that. What you walking around with Afro puffs? Like, what are you doing? So I had to really deal with myself, like in the raw estate, like this flat forehead you got, you know, you got your whole day, your daddy's uh, face, facial structure. You know, I had to really deal with who I was in the most natural estate. Like, this is your hair. You just got to deal with it. No matter the comments, you know, I really had to dig deep and find my inner beauty. So that's how Glory by Nature came about. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, with me going to hair school, I became a um, sister lock um, consultant and I help other women do the same thing to restore the confidence in them, you know, by the way of locking, you know, because like I said, this is the longest my hair has ever been. It might've reached my bra strap or whatever, but it would always break off no matter if I was in a salon or at home. And then, you know, the negative, uh, the negative, uh, just the the stereotypes around being in black salons and the, you know, you're waiting underneath the dryer for a long time. So I didn't want to do that either. And I would cry to my mom. I didn't want cornrows and beads because that hurt. I was tender headed, all of that stuff. So I was just like, okay, all of this stuff is really tying into who I am, right? Because I help women on a day to day basis find and identify and discover their confidence in having or wearing their natural hair again. And it's by the way of locking, but it's women that, you know, they weren't confident before. I've had women even cry after getting their hair installed and being like, oh my God, what did I do? I need to put a wig on my head because they're not comfortable with their full identity. 
So through them going through, you know, the, the beginning stages of their locking process and all of that, yeah, they call it the ugly stage, but I feel like it's the discovery stage. Like that's when you really get to learn who you are. Like you find out what accentuates your face. Like if you got to, I'll be like, Hey girl, if you got to throw a flower in your hair, when I was wearing my locks and they were about up to my ears, you know, I got a, I got a, I, just, I always had a chunky face no matter how small I was. I get these cheeks from my grandfather, Abraham Chesley. We all have these cheeks, right? And I was just like, okay, well, you have to do something to accentuate your own beauty. Like, you got to figure it out, sis. So when I used to go to Walmart, I used to always have these, like, you know, the people from the islands and stuff. They're like, are you from Jamaica? And, you know, they, they couldn't tell me nothing because, you know, at that point, I, you know, I knew who I was. You know, you, could, you can't tell me nothing today about my own beauty. I know how to accentuate this flat forehead, these cheeks, everything that creates all of this, this hair, all of that. I know how to do that now. And I find pride in helping other women doing the same thing. It, it's amazing. Just to see the transformation, whew, doing that every day. I, I mean, I can do that in my sleep. If I could do that 24 hours a day, I would. Because it's so transforming. It's so it's so humbling. It's, it, it, it'll blow your mind. Like just to see the transformation in these women. Yes, ma'am. I'm speechless because um, I just, you know, you're preaching, number one. So you already know. I'll be the glory. Right. And the other thing is, so many of us go through that. Yes. So so through, many. From a childhood, from childhood. We learned it from childhood. We learn, it's learned behavior. Yes. Learned behavior that we get from we love these people we love our families our pa but they learned it too it's, it's exactly a, and they do it ignorantly. they don't know because it was what was embedded in them as well it's a they don't know. Right. Yeah. Mm. so yeah. when you are free and released listen from that free yes that has got to be the most amazing feeling. Yes. You retain a whole level of confidence when you can walk down the street and really not worry about somebody mm. looking at your hair. Like even people will be like, you know, when I was still working in corporate America, you know, they don't really know about, you know, sister locks and locks and all of those things, but they would come along and they would be really intrigued about my hair. But at one point I used to feel so like, un, you know, like, don't really like tiptoe around it at my career or in, in, you know, in my job, I can't even say career, but it came to a point where they were like, well, what if you had to cut that off? I was to a point where like, I know myself so much that I would leave this job first because you're not, I'm not covering up my identity for nobody. I got clear and I got free from that. And I will not, I will not cover up who God made me to be and how he made me to look for anybody. I became that clear that I will quit my job <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm no longer doing that. This level of freedom. Oh yeah. <laughs> sis. And, and I wish, you know, it's funny. That's why, you know, in connecting with our youth, yes, our beautiful young ladies. Yes. It is important. I wish I would have felt like that when I was a lot younger. Yes, I a lot like younger. I would have been, yes. damn, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I used to get teased too, you know, oh, she's the girl with the green eyes and mm -hmm. they used to pull my bow rats out. I mean, just, oh, when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But that's where this boldness come from because then I developed that mindset like, okay, try it now, sis. <laughs> you know, so God made me bold, you know, because I was picked on, you know, all the time. So I see myself, like I said, I advocate for other people who can't advocate for themselves in this area. So he made me that way for a reason, right, sis? He made me that way for Let a me reason. See. And that's what I said. That's walking in your purpose. And you have yes. to get to a certain place. You just don't start. Yes, you just don't start. You, realize yeah. what's going on. you have to go through. Yes, you um, have to discover you know, it. And discover it on discover your own. It. Go on a journey. You have to discover. It is a journey. You are I, who he created you to be. Speaking of that. Mm -hmm. Goal with a purpose. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. Okay, so goal with a purpose. It was birthed out of the pandemic. I was in the middle of a pandemic. Um, I was pregnant. 
well, then I just have my son. I had my son. So um, I know you're not familiar with the story, but me and my husband, we only dated for nine months, right? I didn't have any children until I was two weeks before I was 35. So in a year span, I became a mother of five and a wife, right? Woo! All under the age of 11, okay? <laughs> So with it, because before being a mother and a wife, I was dominating, crushing. As like you see, you you follow my journey, having events, um, networking. I was doing everything. But when I became a wife and a mother, it slowed me down because I had to come to a place where I had to evolve in what God had me to do, right? Because it's like, okay, well, you could work from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night, right? But now you have children and a husband. You can't do. So I was faced with using old systems and an old mind state, trying to deal with being steward over these new roles that God had given me. Right. Wife, Ooh. mother. Here I am as a wife, a mother, but I'm still trying to be a go getter. You can't you can't from 11, 8 a.m. in the morning until 11, sometimes 12 o'clock at one o'clock at night. I know how to get a coin. But then I had to say, you know what? Because when my mom, which was a single mother, you know, she worked hard. She took naps on, you know, when she came home from work, she worked long hours. But then she dealt with us after, um, you know, after she took a nap. You know, we gave her time to take a nap. And, you know, um, you know, kids, you know, I was born in the 80s. So, you know, we were a different breed of kid. Like we we was, you know, I was in fifth grade, put my my. Uh, my brother, I think he probably was in third grade at the time. I was putting him on a bus, cooking for him, doing all of that, making sure the house was clean before mama got home, right? So in that, it it, it it just helped me to be like, okay, you cannot no longer operate in these old systems, right? Mm. You can't use this to hash out what you're doing as a mother and a wife. You can't be a go-getter and spend time away from your child because, you know, my mom, you know, as a single mother, you know how things that happen to us as kids, we don't want that. Of course, when a new generation come on that we birth, we don't, we like, okay, well, what can we do different? Right. So my mom, she was there for us, but she wasn't always able to go to every concert or choir rehearsal or this or that. So I was just like really faced with the idea, like, okay, I'm a wife. Now I'm a mother of five and I don't want to be so busy. Just, Purpose meaningfully being busy, right? Getting dollar here, getting coin here, getting coin here, and not really enjoying and spending time with my son, you know, and our other, you know, my bonus children. So that's where the planner came back into play because I used it to as the foundation to build, um, you know, glory by nature, you know, by me intentionally planning. That's what I do. Like I said, I'm involving. So that's what I've been doing over the last um, few years with the planner is by intentionally planning, helping people to plan, go from meaningless and um, chaotic lives, you know, mm -hmm. as women to purposeful, you know, and productive, you know, by the way of intentional planning. So that's where that came from. I use the same strategy to build, go with a purpose that I use with glory by nature, but it had to be, it had to evolve because now I'm doing this as a wife and a mother. So that's what he's constantly like. I'm on the journey of doing it now. Like, okay, today the kids have school, but they also have this or that after school. Maybe you need to cook your dinner. Like my coach, I have a coach and mentor now. She's like, okay, well, I, you know, it was like 10 o'clock and she's like, okay, well, I've done my dinner for tonight. Huh? <laughs> so I need to really, you know, so I'm like mm -hmm. in, trying to implement and strategize these things in my, my, into my schedule now. Okay. Well, today is Tuesday, taco Tuesday, go ahead and cook the meat earlier. You get, that's an easy heat up, you know? So go with the purpose, intentional goal planning, figuring out your day to day and then finding those holes in your schedule where you're able to accomplish the goals that make you successful. Right. Because we're more than mothers or more than wives. So we have to find the time to be able to do what the purpose that God given us outside of these these titles that he gave us to steward over. So that's where the purpose came from. That <laughs> is um, number one. That's a key skill. Yeah, that it everybody is. should have. Yes. Intentional planning. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. It changed mine. Like I said. 
I didn't like was going through life. Like I said, in my twenties, I, you know, I did everything I could in my twenties. I wasn't serious about nothing. Even with being in corporate America, I was not serious. I didn't start getting serious about my life until I actually started intentionally planning. So the, mm-hmm. the plan, like I said, the plan or the, the strategy that I used to plan to fix my credit, to buy a house, to be able to go on trips and vacation, you know, all the things that network and, and build and make products and all of that stuff came out of that. But now it's just evolving with the, with these titles of wife and a mother. So that's where, right. you know, right. planning is just on a whole new level of being these other titles. Yeah. That, um, wow. I mean, you can't get any more, um, how can I put it intentional than that is to be able to make sure that you um, have a plan for everything yeah. you do. Because you, you have to find time to get it done. Yes. You have to find time to get it done because you'll go through life and we end up bitter. We end up mm. mad. We end up feeling unfulfilled because we know there's more outside of these titles. Yes, I'm a mother. Yes, I'm a wife, but I'm also a woman. So what is it that I'm supposed to be doing as an individual outside of being a wife and a mother and uh, might be a business owner or whatever it may be that you are, you know, with these titles, because, you know, they're titles outside of yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. So how do we get this stuff done? If we got to cook, we got to clean, we got to white tail, we got to make sure hubby's straight, because, you know, most of the time we the admin and the secretary for them too. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, we got to do all these other things, but we have to find time to also walk in our purpose. So I like that you, um, and it, it, it was an evolution. Yes. You see it as an evolution, but I like that you yes. spent time with yourself. Yes. To figure out who you were. Yes. In yourself and who yes. God has you to be in yourself. And then looking mm-hmm. outside of yourself and saying, how does that yes. now fit in? Yes. And then yes. I'm going to make the physical manifestation of that and have a other goal people purpose. Yep. You know, intentional planner. Yeah. Cause I knew that if I was going through it, it had to been other women out here going through the same thing. So I I seen the need to help others, you know, with the tools to be able to, you know, go from meaningly, like I said, from busy and meaningless to productive and purposeful by the way of intentional planning. Right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that production and purpose. So I wanted to, um, I'm going to pull up your, um, oh, here it is right here, your website, because I wanted to just talk about a couple of other. Okay, um, let's do it. Businesses, I'm sorry, services, businesses that you have going on for you. Yes. And as you talk, I'll just kind of walk through it as you, you know, explain okay. what that is. Okay. So that's, of course, my hair salon. I, I explained that to you guys. We talked about that um, a little bit. Um, really, um, Just as Well as the website in, its, in itself was created first as a hub to be able to, like a landing page, you know, you know, how we do things haphazardly, you know, oh, I need a, you know, a landing page is for all the things that I do, right? So um, that's where um, actually justasquells.com was birthed out of. So that's the page that you're actually looking at now. Um, and it has all of my affiliation and companies on it. So it started off as a landing page, but like I said, it's evolving. So this is Glory by Nature. If anybody didn't, ha- anybody hasn't been to the website, you can go directly to it. It's glorybynature.com. And I, um, you see, if you go down, it tells a little bit about our vision and our mission, which I said is, is, is currently evolving because we went from doing natural hair um, and lots to just doing lots entirely. We're just we we're, ju- we're just a lot salon now, and we we do our thing. So this is the salon. I'm actually home base at the moment. Um, you know, like I said uh, previously, I am looking to grow and expand because I know I can't do it all by myself. I get more than ten hits a day about new inquiry clients. So I am looking to expand. I'm just trying to find out where God wants me to go to expand and how he wants me to expand. So I'm I'm in waiting, but we, we are involving in waiting. <laughs> Absolutely. I hear that. That's- <laughs> yes. yes, ma'am. Um, and I am, let me go back to the other site. Uh, yeah. And so let's see if I can get back here really quick. 
Here we go. And so in, on the other um, the main side, mm -hmm. um, here we go. So what is this? <laughs> oh, so I am a, um, <laughs> I am a timeshare owner. So what I do, like I said, on the side, I sell timeshare. So I sell trips to those who are interested. Um, they have a lot of listings from here in the country and out of the country, wherever you want to go. If it's available, you can go at a, a really discounted price. Most of the time people hit me up and they, you know, their weekly vacations that they want to take in the summertime, or, you know, if their kids are in AAU and they need a weekend or a four or five day trip, or even sometimes two or three day, they hit me up and I'm like, Hey, Hey, Jess, you got anything um, in this area? Of course, it doesn't include um, air travel, but it does inquire. It's, um, it's all of the places that you would stay, like the places, mm -hmm. your, leisure, your places of leisure. And most of them are resorts, like maybe 90% of them are resorts. Um, so they like staying in them because most of them are two bedroom, two bath, or you can get three bedrooms or four bedrooms, depending on what's available. Um, so it's really... Um, just a hub where people come. I might share some um, of the uh, available certificates I have, show them um, some of the places where they can go or people either inquire. So it's actually a group that's on Facebook that anybody can join. Um, and I'll go in uh, sporadically. Sometimes they give away three day, two night trips um, to Williamsburg. That is where our, um, our my main hub is. Or sometimes like when, and then when you go, you know, of course, they're going to try to tell us, sell you a timeshare and all of that good stuff because that's how they get more business. But then, you know, you end up getting your money back, <laughs> you know, and they also offer other free trips to you to go to Florida, Las Vegas and all of these mm -hmm. other places. So it's really a good little hub on Facebook um, that I do share, um, you know, the time certificates, the travel certificates with those who are interested. So anybody can join. It's open to anybody. Do you still buy as well? Or do you use that group of like, buyer of timeshares as well? No. So I do not do that part. I'm just the one that actually uses my, because mine is bought, right? So I just use my um, timeshare mm -hmm. to basically sharing with other people for a discounted price, mm -hmm. you know, so that they can enjoy the luxury of having a, maybe a week long trip sometimes mm -hmm. or it's cheap as $500 and a two bedroom, two bathroom, full kitchen, you know, the shebang, yeah. you know, the good, good. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Cause I love listen, I w I'm in other groups like that. And I was just like, yep. That's mm -hmm. the stuff I really like that. I, yeah. I, I yep. definitely have to tell you about that one. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, and we so, talked about doing purpose, but what is this end of year giveaway? So the end of the year giveaway is a giveaway that was tied to the Glory by Nature Salon. What it is, is we get together like-minded business owners that um, are in the area of um, beauty, most of the time that have products or services, all in the name of giving back. Um, to help restore the confidence in other women. Um, for the last, we've been doing it since 2016. And um, I've been doing it with, I know you mentioned her earlier, C. Andra. Um, she normally does the photography and Patricia Gibson. She normally dresses everybody like we do full, full makeovers for these women. And we just basically do it to restore their confidence. Uh, most of the time, it's like I said, it's, it's really like a a giveaway that people actually submit. Like if you see somebody or you see a mom or a woman that's out there working hard, she might be a single mother or somebody that you just feel like that needs a boost in confidence. We get together. It's, it's a lot of us. We have makeup artists, we have hairstylists, we have photographers, videographers, we have, um, boutique owners. We have people that sell like smell good products. We all come together and bless them because all of us are um, local, local businesses and we're small businesses. So we aren't always able to give back like the big corporation. So we take this time once a year. It's been on pause for the last two years because of the pandemic, but we're bringing it back this year. Oh yeah, we bring it back. We've been doing it since 2016 and it's coming back this year. So we do it to bless others because we aren't always as small businesses. We aren't always able able to give discounts or give away free things. So we all come together to network, um, 
to love on each other, to love on these women, whoever the selected women are. And I'm telling you, if you go on there and watch the videos, <laughs> you'll see how these women's lives, like I said, just restore and confidence, helping them to discover their confidence again so they can go out in the world, whether it is to get a job, you know, um, find new love. Maybe they've been divorced, you know, whatever the circumstances or situation is that put them in the place that they were, they are restored, you know, and we love on these women and we we stay connected with them. It becomes a community of women and we pour into each other all the time, like every year. Like even I've had women that were once recipients become somebody that actually partakes behind the scenes in the giveaway. So we, it just continues to give back. And I hope and pray that it grows beyond three women because we've been blessing three women for the last five or six years. So I hope that it grows in the recipients and I hope that it, um, grows in service and product providers that is surrounded in the beauty industry. I promise you that this is, I mean, and I know you've been doing it for, for years. Yes. Um, I don't know about you, but I feel like maybe it's me getting older. Uh huh. I, I'm just really into love and making yes. sure that we love on each other yes. and making sure. We're all a community here, and we've all been around each other and going to high school and yes. working together yes. and whatever, but we're going through the same types of things. Yes, we are. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we are. Yes. And if we take a moment. So I've had yeah. uh, recipients be, you know, honored by somebody. And I mean, I had one lady, not going to mention her name, but she was just so, she was really going through it in her body, you know, mm -hmm. really going through it mentally. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, by the time she left, she had all of us crying before she left mm -hmm. that place because of the transformation, just to see her walk in confidence. Like she wore sweatpants and t-shirts all the time. She mm -hmm. felt like that she was big, too big to be pretty. You know, mm. and just all of these things in her mind that was going on that by the time she left out of that place, I've not like she was like, I've never seen her uh, walk or pose so confidently in my mouth uh, in my life, like That's swinging right. her hair, like, um, who are you talking to? Like this whole new, I mean, she walked out a whole new person. And I was like, oh my God. Because sometimes, you know, when we're doing stuff and you really don't see or hear the effect that I say, um, that it takes on people, like I said in the beginning, sometimes you just want to quit. You know, women, we we go through so much. You're like, you know what? This ain't working. It's not working. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just, I'm, I'm God, I'm not seeing, you know, the fruit or, you know, anything produced out of this and then one of them will reach out girl and have us in tears like you just don't know what I was going through I was having suicidal thoughts I was you know was so um unconfident and trying to get a job or this or that and I dressed myself in bigger clothes because I you know I felt like I was big and I was ugly and I was going through this or I was going through that and you don't know how much this changed my life and that's what I mean that's what I do it for I mean I'm telling you <laughs> it is definitely something that's needed it and is we all want to hear when a person says to you, contact me anytime, whenever you need me, you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. Be serious about those words. Sis. Yes, uh, be all serious. Of all of us. We, we need yes. to be serious about that. Very, we yes, say we that Absolutely. You got to understand what that really means because yes. guess what? your system might need you at some ungodly hour, some ungodly yes. time. You know, I say ungodly, yes. everything's godly, though. everything's on God's time. But right. anyway, some hour, some time that you don't need it, that you don't know what's going on, the next thing you know, mm -hmm. you know, and that might be the moment. Yes, yes, yes. So we, I thank you so much for just lifting, just keeping us yes. lifting each other up. The glory and all of this <laughs> stuff going God. on. Yep, we just need it. Um, I it need it. I was going to say we're getting. <laughs> we, we really probably could have done two shows. Um, <laughs> okay, because <laughs> we can get. Listen, we can chit chat. <laughs> we can talk about women, women empowerment, restoring women, helping women be confident all day long. Yes. All day long, all day and long. And having said that, I, I we'll, we'll have to talk offline because this this does not have to end here. No, it doesn't. And it will not. It will not. We're going Absolutely. to do. We are going to be. We're going to get together and collaborate, and we're going to do yes. that because yes. we're all doing yes. so much. Collabor and that's what I said. It's about even seeing. I just seen her comment. It's about collaboration. Mm -hmm. Women, like-minded woman coming in in the name of blessing other women. Right. We got. We got to stick together. We. We, got, we, we have to. 
So we need to work on that all together. I know we're all working together. On yes. We don't have to all say that we're going to, you know, stop what we're doing. We're doing what we're doing. Right. We can we're still do what we're doing. doing well. Yeah, we can still do what we're doing and make time for other women to collaborate, to bless others, mm -hmm. to help other people up because that's what it's about. Absolutely. That's what it's about. And so I will put, I've already put the Glory by Nature site on. Uh -huh. uh, and I'll, I'll put a whole bunch of information after we finish our interview. If you go back on the page, um, guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen on the page, when you go back and we finish the interview, I will put the link to the, um, everything I discussed and then Jessica's information as well. Yes. Um, but um, is there anything you want to mention, any events coming up or any collaborations before we go? I don't have any um events coming up um like i said the end of the year giveaway we normally start i normally start around august september starting to like promote um to get business owners and service providers uh, um, that's surrounded around the beauty industry um just to see who all wants to participate so we know who we can um actually help you know so we can know who we can actually extend the contest out to you know how many people are actually being blessed by whoever the service providers and the product providers are so we start i try to start that early enough so that we can project how many people we can actually help so if y'all are on here y'all are service providers beauty owners of products or service and you would like to come and help beautify um other women come together with like-minded women in the name of blessing others you can go to um, jessicaswells.com and click on that link that Adrian showed y'all about the end of the year giveaway. If you click on that, it will give you all the information you need at the bottom on how to um, contact us and how to participate if you want to, if you're a service provider or a product provider. Um, I have been collaborating recently, which is um, has been something that has wowed me within the last year with Blades Hair School Design. You know, I graduated from there. Um, I've been going back and teaching lot classes. And when I was in school, they wasn't allowing um, anything pertaining to natural hair to happen in that school. And it has blessed me so much because I just remember as a student, you know, I already knew what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to stay in the realm of natural hair because of, like I said, I explained why, uh, just about the negative connotations that was surrounded by natural um, hair and stuff. And I went and, you know, I was always being told, <laughs> you know, that, you know, this isn't, you're not going to be productive doing this. Like, why are you choosing to do natural hair? But in it, I see even in that what God was doing, because now I'm going back teaching lot classes to other students who want to learn about natural hair. And so I'm just going to say a side note, and I thank you so much for that. My daughter graduated from today. Amazing. On a side note, we really do need to put yes. and focus on the curriculum. Um, um, right. Our, our women of color, texture yes. hair, and how to do it is needed. Um, so, with the with the the um the state board of cosmetology, right? The schools are are so used to just teaching how to pass the test. So everything that you learn is how to pass the test and how to go into a salon, mm -hmm. right? But most of the salons that they're curating you for are doesn't have anything to do with our our culture, right? So it's about time that yes, we know this is not a part of the state, the board, the the state of cosmetology in Maryland. We know that we don't need a, a, a license to do natural hair in Maryland, but it needs something needs to be done with a curriculum that actually includes um, natural hair because I've seen it over and time and time again. My mom, she goes to a salon. You know, of course, it's not a, a African American salon, but they'll go and they can color her hair. But when it comes to straightening and doing, you know, other things that are surrounded around our curls, they are sorry to say, but you know, they're uneducated in that area. So I felt like with 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 that school or with other schools in general, it needs to be implement it because we're here sis guess and what beauty industry, talk about it. beauty industry is growing it is a billion dollar corporation so the options mm -hmm. need to be open to these students and i'm thankful yes. you know with some changes that they've made you know that mm -hmm. they've been asking me to come back i've i've been there 
I actually have to be there tomorrow to teach lots again. <laughs> so yeah, this is like my amazing. third time going back, you know, so I even look at that and be like, wow, I remember a time when I was doing lock students there and I had to stop doing lock students there because, you know, it was taking away from the curriculum that was being taught, you know. So now they're, you know, they're bringing in classes to teach them what I couldn't do at one time, you know. Hey. <laughs> and it's funny because not funny but interesting because I do sh I do commend um Blades yes. for understanding what they're working with and what they're gonna do as an extension of what they're working with to bring in yes. so I say thank goodness I'm, my yeah. daughter missed them because she graduated. I'm glad she graduated, but <laughs> I had a lot of a lot of students that just graduated, they was like, Oh my goodness. We didn't know you were on the schedule. We would have, you know, belabored our, our graduation. And I was right. like, well, just can you come back? You know, because I would. <laughs> yeah. You know, you somebody, sure. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. sure they don't mind you sitting in the class. Right. I'm sure. But, you know, things outside of Blaze are, you know, it's a lot brewing on my side, too. So, you know, not going to speak on everything, but it's some things coming down the pipeline, you know, as far as, you know, teaching and all of that good stuff. So when it comes to natural hair. Yeah. Well, whatever um, I can do here at Southern Tony in the Park um, to help yeah. further that with anything you're doing. Yes. If yes. you want to put something Thank on you. and say, hey, you know, hey, let's go on this, let's do this. Yes. Live or whatever. Or if you want to put any information out, just let me know. I will make sure it's out there. Any collaboration. Thank you. I'm here for whatever. Yes. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So thank you. I wasn't gonna do what you're sipping on, but oh. I, I know we, we we've gone over our time. But I'm just gonna do a little one, and, and we'll just do a couple of couple of. I must um, say because I still got my milkshake over here and my essential. So, I got both. I got my water. Um. So let me ask you this. Okay. If you could pick. Mm hmm. Three decades. OK. And out of the three, I'm going to give you. OK. The, the range, one has got to go. OK. In terms of music, like what was going on with the music in that era. OK. You have to get rid of one. I have that to means get rid of everything, one. every music, everything that happened is gone. It, it never existed. OK. OK. okay. So here's the first one. The 60s to the 70s. No, I can't get rid of that. What, what, what? I must have, well, I, the 80s, <laughs> the okay. 80s to the 90s, and 2000 to present. Listen, when I say that's the, that, to get rid of it, that's the easy one for me. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the 2000s to present. It's the I, I cannot. Yes. The 60s. To the 90s, there is no way that I could get rid of any inch. No. It, not just anything. The music, period? No. It's, it's the foundation for the 2000s. Matter of fact, they don't even do that anymore. They, they don't even pronounce yeah. their words are talking. I don't know what they're doing. What they, doing? they can have 2000s to presence. 60s to the 90s? Oh, yeah. I feel like that's that's me being a kid. All of you know, I'm an '80s baby. Know. You know, we listened to '60s, '70s growing up with our parents, and then I'm an '80s babies, and then you know the '90s. You know, being a got a rough neck, gotta get a rough neck. Hey, you know, all of that. <laughs> you get cross colors and baggy shorts and all of that. Oh I can't, listen, listen, I cannot get rid of any of it. Any of I, it. I, I can't even. I, I was thinking about Donny Hathaway. Oh. oh. I mean, it's some of the Layla. I love Layla. So all of that is friend. I can't get any of boys to men. All those groups that came out in the eighties and the nineties, and uh, 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 everybody. I just it's just so many of them. Marvin Gaye. I can't get rid of any of them. I can't. Anita Baker. Listen, I grew up on Anita Baker and Prince. Listen. I, I, I know I uh, uh when a girl cried the movie under the cherry oh my moon God, no under the cherry moon was my favorite. I cannot yeah the the no. two, mm -hmm. I, was, I can't get rid of any of that from back then. 
I, I was even looking at the Hootie and the Blowfish, my mom. Me, Hootie yeah. and the Blowfish, Sinead O'Connor, all of those, you know. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. Oh, my goodness. You done pulled something out now. Listen, I was listening to all of them. It just all the, all of those, all of those songs. Yes, Earth, Wind, and Fire. All just of that. cannot. The Temptations, I can't. There's no, no. way. There's no way. There's All no the way. Jacksons, everything the no, Jacksons no, did. Jay, the Jacksons, you oh, know, everybody, God. Bobby Brown back then. Listen, Don't it's my prerogative. Brown. Listen, I, I can't, I, I cannot do it. No, I cannot do it. I can't. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige, when she first came out, Monica and, and, and Brandy, and oh, you, I just can't. I cannot do Braxton. it. Tevin Campbell. Tevin I, Campbell. I can't do it. Michelle A. <laughs> I can't. I can't no. do it. Woo. So I don't know if anybody's on here that's still on here, but 2000s is gone. 2000s is gone. Yes, Aunt Debbie. Yes. Uh, listen, all the song Clean Up Woman. I don't even know what it was about back then. But I listen, I, didn't I just remember my grandma and all of them, you know, you know how they do the shoulder dance, you know. With the shoulders up, the little two step, you know, but all the about, desire, you know. How about Rick James? James? Did you know what Rick James was talking about? No, but guess what? I, Mary no, James I didn't know what any of talking about. All the cookout songs back in the day, I, I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. These kids, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all have to go back to. They're gonna have to fall back on the 60s, all, 70s, all 80s, the 90s, all the way back. Yeah. All of our music is going And they be like, I don't know what type of music I listen. Listen, our music, oh, <laughs> I just feel like a kid all over again. And I feel, I just like, feel like a kid all over again in my grandma's house. All of us, all the you know, all the thousand kids at grandma's house, you know, running around, climbing trees, rolling in the dirt, you know, all the stuff we did. We, that's what it makes me feel like. My mom, them watching yeah. my mom get dressed with the red lipstick and the, you know, the the small, you know, everybody used to have the small yeah. girls back then with what the, about the with the with the red light. Oh, blue. Yes. Or how you know how your grandma used to have a floor model TV and a TV on top of that one, and it had yes. the tune dog. On it. Sometimes you had to pop Doctor. it off and put it back on right. Listen, <laughs> I listen. I, I listen. I love the early two thousands, but it does not compare from the sixties to the no. 90s. No, I'm gonna go a step further. I don't know if anybody else can be offended. I know this one on the list. I'm gonna go a step further. Uh huh. And say that basically. <laughs> Anything that happened before the sixties, I mean, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, I too. yeah. It's just them no, two errors. Those two errors. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Our lives. That's it. You know, that was grandma and them. You know, we. I. I. I, I Blankly I don't remember even think they had anything. My, my grandmother loved Nat King Cole. I love Nat King Cole now. Oh, but no. She loves yeah. Nat King Cole. Yeah. No, we got to go, Nat. Sorry. Some Anita Baker, my favorite song. I remember when I was 18 years, I just turned 18 so I can work at Walmart, right? And I used to work at the Walmart Jury County, you know, when it used to be in the back. And I worked at 12 to 9 shift as an 18-year-old, right? That's my whole day gone. But what made me happy was at nine, at 8.55, I knew I was ready to get off of work because Angel Baker played every day that I was at work. So I, that was my song anyway, right? So 8.55, I knew it was five minutes till it was time to close the cash registers up and get all of this stuff together so that I can leave work because Angel came on every night. And I grew, and I love the song anyway, but I grew to love that song so much that it, it brings me to tears. Like, I love yeah. Eat a Baker song, Angel. I, mm. I love it. I, I, love, I love her. I found out she was here in concert. I was so mad. What we gotta do, Jessica? We gotta go to, um, we gotta go to Vegas. That's, they, we, yeah, we that's what I'm about to say with that make an escape page. Oh yeah, we're gonna make we a trip to everybody in Vegas. We who's in? Then we're gonna go to Vegas and we're gonna see Anita Baker. Anita Baker. She's on um, what is it? What do they call them? Um, she has a residency here. Okay, okay, okay. See, yeah, get right on that make an escape page. We can figure it out. I'm there. Let's do it. Not in the <laughs> Well, I know we have really had a good time. Um, yes, it was such a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have thank to, you, we're you for having me. Thank you for having me. 
anytime, every time, and all the time. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm gonna have to recruit you in like one, one, once or twice as a as a co-host while we interview someone else. Yeah, I, look, look, look I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm yeah, down. We, we have good chemistry. Yeah. yeah. We can do that. Yep, I'm sounds good, good to me. <laughs> I'm good with All that. Right. All right. Well, stay, um, stay here. Martha. We're going to close on out, but you stay in the studio. Don't okay. go anywhere. Okay. And yes, we love Jess. We love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. And we're going, um, we will, um, we'll be sending information on when we'll be back. Um, we generally do the second and fourth Sundays. Okay. Um, so I believe I will be back this fourth Sunday. Um, but if you're interested in being a guest on the show, I will be sending information out. Just go ahead and send me a message. Um, if you want to sign up, if you want to highlight your business, um, just tell us a little bit about who you are. I mean, it's important for us to know. Yeah. So we important. can have our youth and model that and build this empire like we need to be building. Um, yes. so we need to make sure that we are um, really giving each other love and building each other up and providing the pathway. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, everyone. Well, you have a beautiful Sunday. And yes. we'll see you on our next Sunday. Have a good Sunday. Bye. <laughs>